Hello YouTube, Fuzzfinger here, and today we're going to be continuing on our streak of hunt quests for the Hunt Club back on the Fong Coast, and we're going to be doing another two marks today, the Zombie Lord, and to be honest I don't actually know what else at this moment, but it'll be in the video, so please do stay tuned. Don't forget to check out the video description as well if you want to see the rewards that you can get for this quest. Right, let's get on with it, shall we? So that first mark, the Zombie Lord, the first hunt, game, whatever you want to call it, is located in the Tomb of Wraithwell, so teleport over here. Now I'm doing this one at this particular moment in time because this is a time sensitive hunt. And in other words, it only appears at certain times. And the time it appears is whenever the game clock is reading between 0 and 29 minutes. So once we've made our way in here... As you can see, I'm about to hit 67 hours exactly in about three seconds time, which means my game clock is now reading between zero and 29 minutes. So every half an hour, this chappy becomes available for the taking. So what we're going to do is head over to the area in which he spawns in, and unfortunately, even though he only spawns in one area, which is helpful, he can have, uh, I think, five different spawn points in that one area. So we might have to run around in order to try and find him. Now you want to use this red waystone here. Using the green one is going to do you no good since you're going to end up in the wrong place. So the zombie lord is located in the northern section of the tomb of Wraithwell. So this is where you want to be. If you're down here, you're in the wrong place use the wrong waystone then and we're just going to basically make our way around and we're going to make our way around uh, this way and hopefully we'll bump into the zombie lord without too much trouble so as we go I'll show you his spawn points as well I'm just going to slow the game speed down a bit so that we're not going too fast as we whiz around here and this is close to one of his spawn points which is why I was just checking the map there. Zombie Bean, no. So he's Zombie Lord. Now he's only got 20,000 health or so. There you go. So you can actually kill him uh, without even realising. But you'll know when you've killed him of course because you'll get the trophy. The soulless trophy in this case. Now that is probably the easiest isn't it of all of them we've done so far. But while we're here I'll just very briefly show you the other spawn points. Since it is random. He can spawn in this location. Right here where we are now, by these chests. Oh, let's grab the chest, shall we? While we're here. That respawn, because there were respawning chests. I have got them before. Uh, the third respawn point, or the third spawn point, is just in this room here. With this flame. Okay. And as with all the rare hunts, by the way, for the hunter's quest, the hunt quest, or the hunt club, whatever you want to call it, uh, the fiends, the mobs, don't respawn ever once you've killed them once. Now, there are other rare mobs in the game, which will respawn, but not these particular ones, okay? So once you've got the trophy, you won't see them again, which is why it's a good idea to steal from them. But unfortunately, when they die that quickly, you know, you're not necessarily going to have time to do so. Right, so just here is the next spawn point. And I believe that's it, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. There is actually one more, which is a bit annoying, but I will show it you, even though it's well out of my way. The things I do for you. So we're going to head out here. Hopefully you won't have to do this and you'll find it before, but just in case. Must be thorough. Let's just speed things up. And around we go. Yeah into this area here back through the ancient door and just as we come in here to the right there is another spawn point just here where these other fiends have spawned uh, more level high but that pretty much brings us to the end in fact look we can even make our way back around to the waypoint from here save us going all the way around the way we've come uh, so going to uh, actually do another hunt. Did I say that's the end of the video? So I'm losing track of what hunts I've done and what I haven't already. But no, I'm, uh, I'm organised, honestly. So we're going to do one more hunt. I'll go and see which one it is and I'll meet you there. 
Okay, so the next hunt that we're doing is Chris. That's going to be the next mark. That's K-R-I-S, and it's a Marlborough type enemy. So I do recommend just making sure you've got ribbons all around for this one. Uh, because you know what those Marlboros are like, don't you? At least I hope you do. Flipping pain. At least they can be. So let's just make sure that we've um, got our ribbons in order, as they say. Ribbon. Ribbon. And I can't remember who my third party member is. Bash. Yeah, a ribbon. Right then, so you're going to head over to the Cheetah Uplands. And from the orange safe crystal, we're just going to head over to the very next area here. And the mob in question, the Marlborough, the Chris, which is a level 38 or 39 fiend, can basically spawn around here. Now, it's not the Marlborough Overking, but it does spawn along with these other Marlboroughs. Uh, in particular, I believe, I'll just bring up my map, it spawns to the south. Here. Slow down, slow down. I don't want to go that fast. So I believe this is where it can spawn. It's got a 40% chance to appear. Obviously, in this case, it looks like a 0% chance. So let's have a brief reprise from the video while I try and find it. Okay, I actually got him to spawn without realising, as you can see. And I've managed to uh, pretty much kill him here. So he's probably going to be going down in just a moment or two, I'd imagine. Uh, but yeah, I actually had to enter this place about five or six times to get him to spawn. So I was quite surprised by that. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I exited an uh, and came in through the other entrance to this particular area. And that's when he spawned for me. But he spawns right next to this obstacle thing here. So you can see that on the map in a moment. But I think he's going down there. I couldn't really do much about that, unfortunately. And you get the Odiferous Trophy. And he spawns just here, literally where I am. So he does wander around a bit as well, so make sure you go exploring. But that's Chris down, and next hunt. And he was a little bit simple, only level 38, with 47,000 health. And of course, with those ribbons equipped, the Marlboro enemies are basically negated in terms of the damage that they can do for you. But that's it for me then, folks. I am finishing off the episode here today now, so thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit the like button if this has been helpful to you. I hope it has, and I'll see you soon. Cheers, all. Take care.